Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you subbed and stayed. Thank you to all my new subscribers and a huge thank you to all my regulars who stick with me no matter what. I've got the book done, I can breathe a bit now until I start his next one. <laughs> and um, I wanted to carry on with Lisa's hurricane videos. I've had some other um, brain fart suggestions um, and they will be coming but what I wanted to do was have all the hurricane stuff together oops I'm gonna have to stop doing that um, got all the hurricane stuff together so that people can see what she actually did while other people were bucketing water out of their living rooms and now I've forgotten what else I was gonna say by saying that oh yes if you've got any specific videos that you want me to react to you can either leave um, a link in a comment under a video or if you want to remain anonymous you can always send me emails to chat to exposed at aol.com I will never I repeat never say who you are what your email is who's contacted me nothing I don't do that it's not me even if we fall out unlike some other person that we all know really well so the next one I think is the Hurricane Florence update and get ready with me who's getting ready in a fucking hurricane really <laughs> shall we jump in Hey everyone, it's me, and um, I'm back <laughs> to do somewhat of a little update, and I haven't really, I've got my little vlogging camera here, I haven't really felt like doing a lot of videos, or hadn't even posted on Instagram for a day or two. <gasps> a whole day or two, she hasn't posted on Instagram, fucking hell. What is this with the, the name necklaces, all the the big youtubers have their name around their neck we know your name <laughs> just because it is so it is just it's bad and you know we got lucky all we had were trees down and no power and we've got a big old mess Brooke and I tried to work in the yard yesterday and it was we were just it would have been like a comedy skit. Some of those limbs that you think that you can move, they are just so heavy, so heavy. We couldn't do it. And I ended up just, we ended up getting skin up and everything. And so we ended up getting skin up and everything. Really? <laughs> and what made you and Brooke think you could move anything? You can't even carry a box up the stairs. What makes you think you could move tree limbs about? we just stopped but yeah we just stopped and said John the ends of my road are still so flooded I mean the people that have lived here for like 20 years said they've never seen it like this we can't get out I haven't been anywhere since before the hurricane we're mama ma. really that is what people were trying to fucking get you to get ready for which bit of that did you not understand? I can't get out. Really? A fucking few days in the house gonna kill you? Yeah, it will. It'll kill her. We're trapped here, pretty much. The only way we can get out is if we walk down the street and we walk through a yard and down the street and then if somebody picks you up. And so John had to do that a few times and he's been doing it to go to work. He's just been having a co-worker come get him and um I'm trying to relax here but it's hard and um so and today i've been sitting here i've just recorded myself doing my makeup just because i thought well i want to do something and i just didn't know if i wanted to talk or what so i don't even know if i'll put this in there but i've been up here in my room and i've just seen people walking back and forth with like groceries and even our grocery stores don't have many groceries left because our highways have been cut off 
Really? This is what people were telling you for weeks before the fucking hurricane hit. But you said, oh, we're okay, we've got PB&J. Regretting that thought now, are we? And so we haven't been able to get groceries in our store. And um, so, but I've seen them go back with, you know, with bags and even like oars you know like for their boat to get to their house and you know we've been trying to help each other yesterday we gave our air condition to the people down the street conditioner air conditioner <sighs> because even though our electricity came on their house was so flooded that evidently it flooded the unit and they have a three-year-old and we had no idea that they did not and see here goes a guy with a wheelbarrow and that's how they're getting stuff back and forth from the end of the street to their end of the street because you're having to go through a yard you can't get a car through there but um so we gave our air condition to them and then my neighbors ooh, my neighbors gave their air condition to them too and air conditioner which bit of that don't you understand can we get rid of the words air condition hyaluronic what else does she say that drives me insane there's others and put s's on the end of things that are fucking plural and um there was somebody burning on the next road and so all of that just yucky smoky air was going in their house and they didn't have air conditioning so john went and asked the guy could he stop burning and explain to him why and the guy did stop and it's just you know I did a video the day after to kind of update you guys and then as soon as I walked outside and I saw the look on one of my friends faces that lives down the street and her house has been flooded I just I couldn't even post the video because um, okay there I just it was just so heart-wrenching I just feel, I always feel guilty yeah that's what it is you just almost feel guilty that they've got it so bad and that you didn't have it that bad so why didn't you go and help them I've noticed lately I've had a lot of comments from people telling me to leave Lisa alone that I've got a sad miserable life and that I'm evil and all the rest of it and maybe I should go and volunteer somewhere when in the history of the fucking world has lisa ever volunteered anywhere or helped anyone in any way whatsoever she can't even do a fucking giveaway on her channel she's too fucking idle oh it's too hard people don't come to me and, and think no you have to go to them to tell them they fucking won otherwise how do they know not everybody watches every fucking thing you post all the way through. So all of you that are here to tell me to go and volunteer, I'm disabled. My volunteering is paying for a little girl in Tasmania. Tasmania? What Tasmania? What the fuck? Help! Where does she live? Why am I saying? My brain's gone dead. Where does Tanzanite come from? Tanzania. Fucking hell. Tasmania. What in the name? <laughs> Anywho. I've looked after her since she was five years old. She's 15 now. And I've only got another four years with her. After that, they don't let you support her anymore. And she's adorable and that's what i do to give back not that i have to fucking validate myself to fucking weirdo lisa lisa d1 fucking warriors that go around telling everyone to leave her alone why don't you tell her to get off her hole and do something it's her job no that's what she's telling you so that she can carry on spending like a fucking idiot she always did a friday haul always before youtube 
and she will continue to do it after YouTube. She just likes shopping and spending money. What else does she do? Oh, she does it for us. Really? That's a public service, is it? Finding out which is the best foundation to wear in North Carolina heat or whatever. Anyway, I've gone off on a tangent. So, um, but it's just bad. It's, I mean, the flooding is just crazy. I mean, when they said they were going to have to... That we're I never thought that the water would get up to here, but stranger things have happened. We we're going to have to worry about the rainfall and everything. I guess I didn't just, I didn't comprehend what that meant. I mean, when they tell you 30 inches of rain, you don't think about the fact that it's not just 30, 30 inches, but it, you know, it's coming down from everywhere and all of those 30 inches are coming. Because you're fucking stupid, that's why. That's why, oh, the television just do doom and gloom and they try to scare you. No! They were giving you information so that you understood and made fucking preparations for it. But you didn't. I've lived here all my life. Daddy says the only thing I need to worry about is a tree falling. Yeah, well, Daddy fucked up as well, didn't he? Coming down and settling. And let's see if I can pull it up on my phone. I don't want to show. In my video the other day, I kind of walked around outside. But I'm not going to show that because I... I didn't feel good about it. I mean, you know, um, this isn't that bad. I don't mind showing you this because it's just, where is it? Oh, here it is. It's the end of my road and it's where a guy, um, I hope you can see here. Yeah, there you can. It's where a guy was trying to go through and got stuck. And so there's a tow truck pulling him out. But that is literally, that is where I pull out of when I start my vlog. But I never thought the water would get here. Does, does this just not explain how fucking dumb this woman is? Even when she was told to prepare for it, she thought she knew better. Mm -hmm. That's the end of my road. And here comes another same guy with two big boxes. Yeah, do you know what you could do? Get off your fat ass. Well, I keep calling it saying fat ass because that's what I say to myself. Get off your fat ass and do something. You could go downstairs. Stick one of your many faux furs on. Or a whatever. And go out and help him. Maybe form some sort of chain gang. So the poor bugger doesn't have to keep walking all the way from his house out to wherever to get stuff to walk back through again. Help! H-E-L-P. Help somebody. No, she'd rather sit there putting her makeup on and watching people out the window. Of stuff. And it is sweltering. I mean, it's so, like, humid and hot. But then at night, it feels pretty good. Like, last night, I really enjoyed sitting outside. Plus, I'm going stir-crazy. But, um... Stir crazy. Couple of days indoors and she's going stir crazy. How would you like to be disabled and stuck in a bedroom for 11 years? And never seeing the outside? Eh? You'd never cope. You and Lardy, you wouldn't fucking cope five fucking minutes in my shoes, yet you, you, your followers and Lardy seem to think that you know what's best for me and what I'm doing is easy and they laugh. So anyway, just keep everyone in your prayers. Yeah, and maybe put your rugs on. Go out and fucking help. No, didn't she buy? What are them fucking wellies that the posh people wear at the hunt? I don't know what they're called. But she had to have a pair of them. Has she ever worn them? Hunters, are they? This would be the one time to stick your hunter's wellies on. A pair of John's gardening gloves. And go out and fucking help people. And your thoughts and i know there's lots of places that you can give um i know samaritan's purse of course red cross aspca um i you know we give a lot locally i always like to give i've already given sheets 
old sheets that you didn't want anymore. That's what you gave. Several things and money to different places around here. And um, I'm sure I'll probably be doing some other stuff. And um, I might even be doing some other stuff on this channel. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But um, so I just wanted to mainly check in with you and tell you that we're okay. My parents are okay. My parents just got electricity back yesterday, last night. Matter of fact, we had walked to the end of the street with gas for them because Sean had gas kind of stocked up in the garage for our generator and then we got our power back and then my parents still hadn't gotten theirs back. So we were walking 10 gallons of gas down there and they came and got it. And then when they got home, they got their power back. We walked 10 gallons of gas down there. We, John walked 10 gallon of gas down there. You just went with him to see your parents because you were going stir crazy. Don't try and make out you actually did it. You might have broken a nail, God forbid. Which, hallelujah, I'm, I'm glad. And, um, but I asked my mom this morning, you know, what they were up to. And um, what'd she say? Oh, oh, I showed her that picture. She said, did they get through? She said, we went to Walmart and got a couple of things. She said they had almost no cold stuff. Home now, watching TV. So, like, even our stores are... Really? There's been a fucking hurricane. Do you really think the shops are going to be fully stocked with all the shit that you want? Maybe... Had you stocked up before? Jeez, sorry. But these people, how fucking stupid are they? There's a hurricane on the way. Ah, oh, it'll be fine. Daddy says not to worry. And I can go out to Chick-fil-A or whatever. How's the PB&J lasting? Are empty because the highways have been so just flooded. No. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Thank you to all that cared about me. And you know, I probably wouldn't have posted anything at all about this. I certainly wouldn't have done videos if you guys hadn't have just been so sweet to me. Um, I'm hoping things can get back to normal. I certainly won't have a haul this week. I have ordered some stuff all week because I've been just, you know, on the, web i've ordered a few things just nothing great big or anything but um and i don't know when we'll be able to get here i don't know when we'll be able to get our mail i don't know it's not looking good that my love should be at the bottom of your list of worries i don't know how we're going to get our mail when the people at the bottom of the road are living in a fucking swimming pool you're worried about will you have a friday haul far as getting out of here so John's talking about maybe renting us a car or something because people are taking what they're doing is getting a car and leaving it right there on the main street where we can walk to and John said he might go just rent a car if we can and leave it down there so we can get out of here but then you know we're we don't have that much <laughs> not many places to go I heard Waffle House is open um, yesterday he was going to stop by Smithfields to get barbecue and he said there was like a line out of the building are they really as stupid as that? Really? <laughs> I just, I can't, I'm sat here shaking my head. I just can't understand the stupidity. <sighs> and um, so anyway, so keep us in your thoughts and I will see you real soon. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I sped this up so it wouldn't take so long because it's just a pretty simple... We don't really need to watch her get ready with me, do we? I'd rather stick pins in my eyes. So thanks for staying to the end, if you did, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.